Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss how to assign R&S configuration for compounds with two asymmetric carbons. Let us take a structure like this. Here we can identify two chiral carbons. So this is one of the chiral carbon or asymmetric carbon which is attached to four different groups. And here again we can observe another chiral carbon. Now this compound is having two asymmetric centers. Let us give the numbering to the structure. Since carboxylic acid should be given preference, we have to start the numbering from the carboxylic acid. So this is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon and fourth carbon. Now asymmetric centers are present at second carbon and third carbon. Then what is the configuration at C2 as well as C3? In order to assign the configuration, we can use the R and S nomenclature by using sequence rules. In our previous video, we have discussed about the sequence rules and how to assign R and S configuration for simple compounds. And today in this video, we are going to discuss the compounds with two asymmetric centers and how we can assign R and S configuration. Let us assign the configuration initially at the C2. So what is the configuration at C2? Let us take the structure like this and this is the numbering. In order to assign the configuration at C2, let us consider this entire structure as a single group. Now we can write the structure like this where the R group indicates the entire group attached to the second carbon. In this way, by considering the large group as a small group, we can easily assign R and S configuration at a particular chiral carbon. Now at the C2, these are the groups attached. Let us identify what are the groups attached to this chiral carbon. One is the oxygen and second one is the carbon and third one is hydrogen and fourth one is the R group which is attached by carbon. According to the sequence rules, we have to give the preference to the atom with high atomic number. Since oxygen is having the high atomic number than carbon, so oxygen should be given first preference. And since hydrogen is having the least atomic number, so it is given the fourth preference. Now we have to rank the COOH and R group. Since carboxylic acid as well as R group are attached by same atom that is carbon, then we have to give the priority order based on the further atoms attached to these carbons. Let us explore the carboxylic acid which is written as COOH. And here in the carbonyl group, the carbon is attached to oxygen by double bond. This can be considered as like this. Now carbonyl group is considered as carbon attached to two single oxygens. In this way, by using the sequence rules, the double bonds are duplicated and triple bonds are triplicated. So here the carbon oxygen double bond is duplicated such that we are considering carbon is attached to two oxygens by single bond. Then the third group is the OH group where oxygen is attached to carbon. Now in this carboxyl group, carbon is further attached to three oxygen atoms, which can be written as oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Next one is the R group. Within the structure, we have indicated the R group like this. This R group is attached by carbon. Now, what are the atoms attached to this carbon? One is the hydrogen, second one is the carbon, and third one is the oxygen. If we arrange them in the order of their atomic number, we can write this as oxygen, carbon, hydrogen. In this way, COOH is considered as three oxygens and R group can be considered as oxygen, carbon and hydrogen. Based on this, which should be given preference? Since oxygen is having the more atomic number, COOH should be given preference. So it is given the priority order two. Then the R group is given the priority order three. By this, we have completed the ranking to the all four groups attached to chiral carbon at C2. Now, if we summarize the priority order, oxygen is 1, carboxylic acid 2, R group is 3 and hydrogen is 4. In order to assign the R and S configuration, the lowest priority group should be on the vertical line. But it is not on the vertical line, it is on the horizontal line. So, we can make some parallel transitions. If we interchange these groups like this, then we have to make a parallel transition of these two groups also, so that the configuration is not changed. So, within the structure, we can do parallel transitions such that it gives a structure like this. So here you can see that the OH group is replaced by carboxylic acid and carboxylic acid is replaced by OH. 
Similarly, hydrogen is replaced by R group and R group is replaced by hydrogen. In this way, by parallel transitions, the configuration still remains same. Now we can give the priority order. The OH group is first one, carboxylic acid second, R group third and hydrogen fourth. Since the lowest priority group is on the vertical line, now we can assign the configuration. We can travel from 1 to 2 to 3. So we can travel like this. In between 2 and 3, even 4 is there. But still we can travel from 1 to 2 to 3. So since this direction gives anti-clockwise, now this carbon is having S configuration. And since this chiral carbon is the C2, we can assign the configuration as 2S. In this way, the configuration at C2 for the given compound is 2S. Now let us give the configuration at C3. So within the structure, we are going to assign the configuration at C3. So let us consider this entire group as a alkyl group. So we can write the structure like this where R1 indicates the entire group attached to the C3. Now within the structure, again let us check what are the atoms attached to chiral carbon at C3. So this is hydrogen and this is carbon, oxygen and finally R1. Which should be given preference? Since oxygen is having the higher atomic number, it should be given the preference 1. And hydrogen is having the lowest priority, so it is 4. Then R1 group is attached by carbon and CHO is also attached by carbon. If we export the CHOs, again this carbonyl group can be duplicated such that we can write like this. Now carbon is attached to two oxygens and one hydrogen. So the atoms attached to carbon are oxygen, oxygen and hydrogen. Then what about the R1 group? We have represented the R1 group like this. So this is the carbon attached to C3. Then what are the atoms attached to this carbon? One is the oxygen, second one is the carbon and third one is the hydrogen. So this carbon is further attached to oxygen, carbon and hydrogen. In this way, R1 group and CHO group are labeled. Then which should be given preference? Since oxygen is having the higher atomic number, CHO should be given preference. So it is given the priority order 2 and R1 group has the priority order 3. Now within this structure, the priority order is like this. Again, the lowest priority group is not on the vertical line. It is on the horizontal line. So just like the previous one, we can make parallel transitions such that we can get the structure like this. So let us give the priority order to the groups. Now we have to travel from 1 to 2 to 3. So we can travel like this. Again, it gives anti-clockwise direction. So it shows S configuration. Now we are assigning the configuration at C3. So it can be indicated as 3S configuration. So if we summarize, this structure is having two chiral carbons and a configuration at C2 and C3 are denoted as 2s comma 3s so both at second carbon and third carbon s configuration is observed within this structure in this way by using the sequence rules we can assign the rns configuration for compounds with two asymmetric carbons while assigning rns configuration we have to take each chiral carbon then we have to assign the configuration by considering larger groups as a single group then we can follow the sequence rules to assign a configuration at a particular chiral carbon. So that's about the RNS configuration for compounds with more than one chiral carbons. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.